it is a good indicator it is telling us things are wrong something seriously wrong in the economy it's a good thing saraswati aa gayi hamare paas it is telling us that something is seriously seriously wrong in the policies and the governance of the country and till now you thought vehem hai vehem hai vehem hai it's now gone big importers are excited the whole bunch of people are very happy because they can invest in india right now lots of people are going to buy homes so already the inquiry in the real estate has gone up so lots of things will happen the money will also go back it'll all keep trends are always up and down in in in, in jain thought they will always say time flows up and down up and down it's called shushama shushama and dushama dushama or it's called avasarpani and utasarpani saap ke jaise sarp means snake so market will always move like a snake avasarpani i mean sorry utasarpani avasarpani boom and bust are natural cycles of nature it will always happen so you, this is just right now it's avasarpani we had utasarpani 15 years ago 10 years ago and we all thought everything is going to last forever and we took stupid decisions we ourselves pair pe kulaadi mara shanghai banayenge shanghai banayenge <laughs> go out on the road and see the pothole i see shanghai written under it <laughs> so it's a terrible thing anyway so yeah so uh, i'm going to pick on your uh, you know you showed one illustration about interfering with nature yeah um, so i don't know if it comes across as childish or ignorant but what is your view on global warming because i find myself thinking pretty often that yeah. i don't know the facts behind this yeah. but i sometimes think that if dinosaurs were environment conscious yes then probably we wouldn't have come about yeah and uh, who are we to talk so much about you know so there is something which has been set into motion yes that's how we came about yes and probably we are causing natural destruction for the next kind of age to come about so what is your understanding or See, your every purpose? action has a consequence as i said bhog chahiye to bali chadhega if you want all that technological advancement something has you have to pay a price for it one of the price is going to be pollution one of the price is going to be global warming that is going to happen the choice is nahi karna hai mat karo for example i can decide now in uttarakhand no development should take place let us let let the forest come back it's an option but that has other consequences social consequences people will not have jobs they'll not have food there'll be riots on the street the whole area will suffer and that's the consequence indians always never think in terms of right and wrong they'll always think in terms of consequence what is karma kya kiya hai uska bhagatna padega and what is happening is that right now so everybody was plundering the wealth of the country and then things go wrong then there's social unrest the social unhevel everything comes to a standstill investments comes to a standstill rupee goes down and still people won't listen look at the newspapers today it is obnoxious what to do to kabhi kabhi bacche thappad se seekhte hain abhi prakriti keh rahi hai ki main kitna thappad maaru how much should i strike you for that you to become smart but we don't learn raja banna hai we all want to be indra i have met so many of the senior you know businessmen politicians all are very good people really with only one problem i will help people only after i become king so all indras so that's our problem yes uh over here if you can just pass oh we have another mic yeah uh we have brahma as the creator of life yes so and there is no temple of brahma yeah. or there could be one temple or two temple of brahma so what is the learning from mythological learning that why there are no temple of brahma which is a creator of life yeah um, see really he's not uh, the people's understanding of mythology is very, you know we unfortunately when we use the word creator he's not the creator of life he's the creator of imagination that's what is brahmand is how you imagine yourself brahma ka anda that means brahmand so who creates your imagination you create your imagination i create my imagination how many people in this room 200 people in this room 200 brahmas 
each of them create their own imagination. That's why in the Upanishads, Aham Brahmasmi Tattva Masi. I am Brahma, so are you. I create an imagination. Now the question is, is this Indraka imagination or Vishnuka imagination? And most of the times it is Indra imagination. So it creates Ranabhumi. So Indra ko Brahma ka beta kehte hai. And he creates conflict. Not to be, father is not worshipped, son is not worshipped. Vishnu creates an imagination which is saying that I want everybody, Sarva Sukhina Bhavatu. Everybody should be happy. It is not about me, it is about everybody. The story is about my family, my work, my environment, my boss, my subordinate. He is not asking to be worshipped. But you worship because he becomes aspirational. Because it's difficult to be Vishnu. So you worship that which is aspirational. Not what is default. We are all default. We are all Brahmas. So what is the benefit of the But this is slightly all in the book. <laughs> See the problem is our understanding of mythology. As a subject it has not been studied. We have not, we assume we understand mythology, but mostly beyond Amar Chitrakatha and Chanda Mama. <laughs> Trust me, I have met biggest scholars in the world and their understanding is not better than Amar Chitrakatha. And they all tell me they are scholars and I am like, Achha, tumko degree mil gaya, very nice. Because very poor understanding of the subject. Unfortunate, it's very unfortunate that in our business, we don't understand our mythology because we think it is simple, it is not. It is thoda da, dhyan lagana pata. Yeah, Atul. Uh, for my friends, can you just explain the concept of linear cycle, concept of time versus cyclical concept of time as for India? See, look at, let's go to the first slide. So we'll just go a quick rewind because that will help. Oh, we went a lot ahead. <laughs> Let's go to this. This is linear. One thing will have to happen after another. This is a linear way of thinking. So target, task, you know when we think this is target, annual plan, monthly plan. When you are studying, you say, I will finish this subject, then I will do that subject. That's a very linear thinking. This is cyclical thinking. Sub could simultaneously. So I will do a little bit of mutual funds, I'll do a little bit of insurance, a little bit of debt market, sab saath mein. Right balance, depending on kiske swada anusar, aur kiske swada anusar, tumhare ya customer ke? Khane pakane wale ka swad ya khane banane wale ka swad, khane, khane wale ka swad. And that is the trick. Cyclical, all things simultaneously. Not sequentially. That's the fundamental difference. There are many ways of understanding this. The other way of understanding linear is that if I do good things, good things will happen to me. That is linear. Cyclical things is if you do, something will happen to you. What is good, what is bad, who will decide? You or Samnevala? And that's the trick. Your customer will decide it is good or you will decide it is good. You will say, sir, it is good for you and the customer will say, not good for you. I'll give you an example. I don't listen to music. I have a problem. Some, I just don't connect with music for some reason. I love art, visuals, but I can't connect to music. So I go to the shop and they say, sir, this home theater system. Hai. I said, I don't music good for me. Yes, sir, this is a good deal. Hai. I said, I don't like music. Nahi lagta. And he's continuously, I'm getting irritated with that fellow. But I'm saying, show me a good TV. I don't care the sound system. Somehow it doesn't, Excite me. And that's the customer conversation. Listen to the customer, no? Listen to the customer carefully. And the customer be stupid, but allow him to be stupid. Le gain his trust. And when you gain his trust, tell him he's stupid. <laughs> but till then, don't tell him he's stupid. So, so that's the rule. Okay. Thanks. So, uh, the, the gentleman there. As far as uh, you have, uh, uh, in context of Indian mythology, you have related Brahma, Vishnu, uh, Brahma, and Vishnu. Uh, it is also said that Brahma is the creator and Vishnu is the constant mm -hmm. moderator, balancing the nature. And 
Vishnu is the destructor of the yeah. Shiva. Sorry, yeah. Shiva is the destructor of the uh, yeah. environment. So where uh, do you keep Shiva from the mythology to the business environment? See, Shiva is Bairagi. So Lakshmi nahi chahiye. This is the finance conference, no? So no Shiva. Not for you. Not now. Pehle Lakshmi banao, fir hum Bairagi bante. Hello, I think. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can we can I request for the last five minutes to be seated, please? Thank you. Uh, we have some esteemed people among us, and uh, we have been uh, we have already given uh, Mr. Devdas books to all our members. We would want him to do the honors and give some of his books to some of the people. Can I request Mr. Ashish Sumaiya of Mutilal Lawful to come again on stage? Mr. Vikas Sajdeva. <laughs> Mr. Kumar Karpe. <laughs> Mr. Suraj Kelly. Mr. Dibashish Malik. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, IDBI, Mr. Dibashish Malik. Baroda Pioneer, Mr. Jerdi Bhattacharya. Okay. Philip Capital India, Mr. Vineet Bhatnagar. Okay. Mr. Anthony of Morgan Stanley, Mr. Anand Shah, CIO BNP, Mr. Kalpain Parikh, CEO IDFC, Mr. Uday Suri, Sales at Tata, Mr. D.P. Singh, SBI, Mr. Pratib Baduria, Baroda Pioneer, Mr. Ajit Menon, DSP, BlackRock, Mr. Gaurav Parija, Franklin Timperton, Mr. Madhu Nayar, Mr. Odeyan, Mr. Sandeep Singh of Kotak, Mr. Ashok Suvarna, Bella, Sun Life MC. Mr. Karan Datta, Axis AMC. Mr. John Matthews, HDFC. Mr. R. Chandrasekhar, RK, Kotak. Mr. J.P. Singh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
I'm going to thank you. OK. Uh, see, as I was promising to a lot of my IFAs, I believe this is the, what Mr. Devdat has done is given us a key to understand the wealth of knowledge which our forefathers communicated to us in different ways. Right? So you can extend it to any level. Look at it, Mahabharat. Who are the so callers? The hundred vices of a man, Pandavas. A very simple question who is Bhishma? Who doesn't die unless you ask him to die? What is the apple? The forbidden fruit which my Christian friends want, what Adam and Eve ate. So, ex if you want to understand more, please go to devdat.com. Believe me, ever since I have been, I wanted to start doing a research. And other than the working which I was doing for the event, I was spending all my time in reading his articles and seeing his videos. OK. On behalf of Next Advisors, I take this opportunity to thank all of you for make the, making this event a grand success. Tonight, we showcased our past successes and future plans with all of you. Tonight, in the midst of fellow members, we wish to declare that we have overcome major difficulties and achieved another milestone. We now have more than 100 IFAs on board, based out of 25 locations in India. <laughs> the future looks quite bright. On the transaction front, we are trying to iron out a lot of issues. Our tie-up with Godrej Properties will help you in satisfying a basic need of shelter for your investors while adding to your income. We have already